Hi, and welcome to a special War Game Wednesday version of uh, Greyhawk Ragnard. I got a new book in the mail a couple days ago, and I thought I'd do a quick uh, run-through of uh, what's in Wargaming Campaigns by Henry Hyde, today on Greyhawk Ragnard. Alrighty, so here is the book we have. Uh, it is a pretty massive tome. Uh, it comes in at a whopping 526 pages, it looks like. Um, you know, so it is well worth the, uh, the, the money. Uh, one really nice thing it has, you can see here on the edge, it's got these color-coded bars that tell you which chapter is where, which is really, really handy when you're looking stuff up. Um, Nice full color interior, which is always a handy thing. Here's our uh, table of contents, and you can see the color coding matches those colors on the edge. So, I mean, this is just so well thought out. It's, it's really cool. Um, first chapter we have is an introduction to campaigns. So, you know, it's basically telling you uh, what all, the, you know, the, the, the basics of the war game campaign idea which is basically uh, a series of linked battles that are played out on the tabletop. That's the that that is the essential uh, of it. Uh, ooh, I got a I got a nifty card. Uh, so I'll see this. Um, oh yeah, for uh, for sword and uh, pen and sword books, which is always nice. Um, campaign generalship. So this is about. Uh, uh, different strategy, you know, how strategy can Im impact the design of the campaign, um, you know, what, what questions do you want to ask, the period, um, you know, how long will it take us to do things, that kind of thing. So it's, it's very nice. Um, March to Glory, which uh, covers movement uh, and, and different rules for, for campaign play. Uh, you can see down here it's got pre-industrial uh, and movement points for boats and, and all different things. So this is, in essence, a, a whole set of rules for running campaigns, which is really, really nice. Uh, obviously, you know, for a specific uh, need, you'd have to, uh, you'd, you'd want to tweak them to meet your specific campaign idea. But, you know, this is, uh, this is really nice that, they, you know, you're getting a whole rule book in addition to the, uh, to the book itself, uh, which is uh, much like the other book of his that I uh, did a flip through of, uh, uh, a couple of months ago, uh, where you got in several entire rule books uh, into the thing. Um, chapter four is about how to make maps. It's got all kinds of really great, um, uh, uh, not only just illustrations, but it's, it's showing you different resources online that you can use. It's uh, you know, obviously you're going through Google, uh, how big to make it. You know, it's all kinds of really cool stuff. Obviously, they're talking about making um, uh, fantasy campaigns at that one. Um, just maps are, are always a fun thing, and it's a pretty oh yeah, uh, Warhammer. There you go. And this is, this struck me when I was flipping through it when I first got it. Um, down in the corner here, it's got this warning: um, Do not use this map for actual space travel. It has been compiled by a design bot who has no idea about stellar cartography, only making things pretty. So it's got a little bit of uh, wink, uh, winking at the audience there, uh, which is really nice. Um, next up. Uh, umpires or opponents this is running campaigns with umpires is the same as running a D, &D game with a gm uh you know it's it's somebody who can regulate what happens between the different players and obviously you have the idea of a solo campaign um i don't know what his exact uh, oh yeah we got kriegspiel and free kriegspiel in there that's really cool matrix games um are, are always nice there's actually entire books about matrix games um and matrix games are basically if uh, one side does this and the other side does this, this will be the result. You make a grid. Um, and we've got uh, all kinds of tables and really cool things for a random game. Um, next up, uh, We the People. This is uh, a chapter on uh, characters in 
campaigns. So like generals and leaders and so forth will have specific statistics, just like in a D&D campaign. So for example, here you've got Lieutenant Getz has an intelligence, uh, intuition, courage, charisma, strength, and health. Um, you know, this is just to give an, this is giving you an idea of how to apply the, the idea, um, uh, royalty and different, uh, diff uh, how to use playing cards to set up. Oh, it's going, it's mentioning Tony Bath. Of course, Tony Bath, uh, is the, the grandfather of this kind of play. He set up, uh, he, had, he had a book, uh, setting up a war games campaign, which was just phenomenal and is, I believe, re reprinted and available. Uh, skirmish and role-playing campaigns. Uh, this is playing campaigns on a limited scale with a, just a handful of troops on each side. Um, and, of course, role-playing. Um, you know, so it's going to talk about uh, Scaven, which I think is a games workshop thing, if I'm not mistaken. Um, keeping going, keeping going. Uh, a whole chapter on weather, which is which is surprising, but obviously, you know, in a when you're dealing on a campaign uh, that covers a whole bunch of time, weather's going to be a factor. Uh, we have another chapter on uh, war at sea, so naval campaigns, uh, or how navies can impact a, a land-based campaign. Uh, air power, same kind of deal. It's, um, you know, going on to, I love this kind of, I love the, the pictures in this thing are just amazing. Um, uh, Battle of Britain, you know, so you can use a board game to achieve the outcome of a single day, that kind of thing, which is sort of what I did at uh, uh, Historicon a couple months ago. Um, digital campaigns, so this is going to talk about uh, using the internet to run campaigns, to find opponents for campaigns. <coughs> um, and uh, So, uh, where do we got here? Oh yeah, so it's talking about how orders uh, are given in such a thing. Um, blogs, Slack, so it's going into very specific things about social media, how to use Twitter, Facebook, uh, other platforms, forums, that kind of thing. So it's, it's pretty comprehensive when it comes to the internet uh, stuff, it even has a chapter, uh, a part of the chapter on COVID. Um, so uh, making campaigns work, this is uh, talking about making up your own campaign worlds. Uh, even if you're doing historical minis, um, for example, in, in when I was in college, we had a Napoleonics campaign, but it wasn't based in actual Napoleonic Europe. It was there was a bunch of fantasy nations, and we each had a nation, but we used historical Napoleonic troops. You know, so some one person would have um, you know French uh, guards, and another one would have Austrian hussars and things like that, and you'd make up your armies from from those things. It was it was pretty neat. Uh, but this is obviously going in uh, a lot more detail on how to uh, do that. Uh, keep it going, keep it going. Uh, st ah, yeah, standing on the shoulders of giants. This is where he's talking about um, previous uh, works on um, uh, on campaign style play. And of course, Hyboria, this is the Tony Bath thing. This is the um, uh, the, 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 the the template for for other uh, things, um, Charles Grant is another uh, of the of the great old uh, old authors on uh, on the thing. We got the War Game Companion here, so it's giving you a lot of uh, practical ideas. Um, All roads to lead to Rome. This is this is basically a uh, an overview of different places you can find inspiration for your things. It's got books, it's got magazines, it's got websites and blogs and board games. And, you know, it's just a whole bunch of different. Uh, really, really cool stuff that you can use, and then it's got the uh, the nice index. So, on the whole, uh, I can't wait to to sit down and just uh, go into this. Um, it's it seems like it's uh, well worth the money. You'll be able to find a link to purchase this book uh, below. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you've got a copy of this, I'd love to hear your thoughts on uh, Wargaming Campaigns by Henry Hyde. And uh, hope you all have a good day. And I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching today's video. Please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Below you'll find links to my Patreon which helps make these videos possible. You'll also find the web store where you can buy my books, and my blog where you'll find all sorts of free downloads and other articles. Thanks and have a great day.